let's make some Descendants 2 characters into Lego mini dolls. So we'll start with Mal. And we'll also do Evie. And we're going to create Uma as well. Don't they just look perfect? Look, perfect, just like their pictures. Oh, no, hold on. Uma will need a hat. So there we go. Now they're perfect. <laughs> just kidding. Welcome to LEV Toys. This is where we're going to start. We're going to start with these three mini dolls and we're going to turn them into their Descendants 2 characters. So we'll start with this one. This one is going to be Mal. She's already got the right style hair, but it is obviously the wrong color. I've already recolored this hair when I made Mal's cotillion dress. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you check out the video. I'll put the link in the description box below. Now we're going to use this Lego Elves top for her sleeveless look because it is pretty much perfect. We're just going to need to do a little bit of painting on it later, but the pants are going to need some significant painting. So let's get them started. All right. So pants are going to need to obviously be a darkish purple and she's going to have some black boots. So let's do that. And that was pretty magical. That just magically happened. That's what happens when you forget to press record while you're painting the pants. So I actually forgot to record that bit. So pants are already painted. We'll go back and do the boots in a moment. Let's add a little bit of green to the bottom part of this top. Now that should be pretty easy. We're just going to do it under the little vesty kind of armor. And yeah, it should be should be pretty easy as long as I can paint in the lines. <laughs> and we'll speed this up. Otherwise, it's going to be quite literally as boring as watching paint dry. So we'll speed it up, put on some lovely, luscious, glossy green paint, and that will just add that nice little spark of green to her outfit, which is otherwise going to be pretty predominantly purple. Okay, boots, black boots. And I know that she's not really wearing high top boots, but we're going to put some, I'm going to use a bit of, bit of artistic license. I'm going to put some higher boots on here so that they actually go up to the boot line that's already printed in the Lego pants. <laughs> They're already here, so I'm cheating a little bit, but it'll look pretty awesome. I mean, Mal would totally wear these sort of boots. So I think it'll, it's all justified. It's not like she's I'm putting her in something that she would never ever wear. So purple pants and black boots. And I'll just fix up a bit of the purple there. And her pants are pretty much ready. So now we just need them to dry. Let's put all these body parts over here. And let's start working on Evie. Now Evie, oh, she's tricky. I've already painted her some brighter red lips. Though. They could probably do with being a bit bigger. And this hair piece from Olivia is the perfect style, but it needs to be blue. And I've already painted one in blue. And that looks, that looks okay. I, I quite like that. It's, it's the right style. It's blue. I've also got this metallic blue one that I've painted previously. And I really like it. Do you think that Evie would wear the metallic blue hair? Let me know in the comments which one you prefer, whether you like just the plain dark blue hair, they're both very glossy, or the metallic blue hair. I'll probably go with the plain blue hair for the purposes of this video, but oh, the metallic hair is so cool. All right, for the top, she has got the Lego Elves Emily shirt on. And once again, I'm going with the sleeveless look, but to create that little winged look of her jacket, like uh, like this, let's see if I can find a picture. So that little winged look, I'm actually going to cut this existing Lego elves cape. So it looks like the little wings of the sleeves of the jacket. So here we go. We're going to do a rounded cut and shorten the cloak. And then hopefully, hopefully it will look like, like her little jacket sleeve top. Nice. All right, let's put this on and see how it works. I wonder if it's going to sit right now that I've cut it so short. Actually, it looks pretty good. I just need to kind of fiddle with this bit here because it's not sitting correctly because I haven't pulled it down properly. There, that's so cute. It's like little capped like sleeves on it. That's really cute. Okay. All right. What should we do next? Let's fiddle with the top. We're going to make the necklace that's existing already there on the print. We're going to make it a red stone because she's got a red necklace in, well, in some of her outfits. And we're also going to give her some blood red gloves because that works with, with this outfit as well. Line up both there. 
beautiful that's so glossy so glossy that's lovely I think you know what we're just gonna leave that alone now for her pants her skirts the right color already she wears just a leggings that are a, a different shade of blue I'm gonna paint her legs and her shoes the same color blue but then I'm going to layer some more colors on top of her stockings and I'll streak some black on the stockings to just make it look more grungy and textured but let's leave that to dry for now and let's work on Uma now the biggest obstacle I need to overcome for Uma is to actually incorporate this her tricorn hat like the pirate hat into her hair I'm not gonna sit on the top that's gonna to look silly but we're gonna work on that in a moment let's start with her skirt her boots are perfect the gold underlay also works so we just need to paint over the pink with an aquary tealy color it's a kind of it is more a tealy color and I probably could have done with a little bit more green in this but it'll work nicely so very carefully just covering over all the pink and then Uma's skirt's going to work really well. Good! Let's leave that to dry. And now let's tackle our next obstacle. Her top is going to work very nicely, but we need to do some hair cutting. Are you ready? We are going to, well actually, I'm going to mark around where the hat goes in the hair the white pen so that I can see it on her dark brown hair let's go across there and then into a V a little point at the front that's not really a point into a V at the front and then I'm gonna get my chomping scissors and I'm going to cut that part of the hair out and we'll see if I can then incorporate the hat into the hair to make it all look like one piece Am I feeling clever enough? Let's just see. I'm glad these rubbery hair pieces are really easy to cut. So that doesn't look too bad. Let's uh, let's see how this works. <laughs> Moment of truth. So here's the hat on her head. And if we can put the hair around, is it going to look too weird? Oh, it's really not going to look weird. It looks it looks fantastic this I couldn't have made this work better if I'd tried that actually works really well so now I just need to glue the hair to the hat so I will take it away and I will do that and now it's dry because we have the magic of video editing and now let's paint these dreadlocks with some aqua paint oh, I've put that on too thickly to start with we're not gonna be able to see the brown through it okay not a really great start here I'm gonna have to fiddle with this I think and wiping it off with my finger at this stage is a desperate attempt to try and make this look better that's I've just put it on too thickly I should have had less paint on the brush so that it just went on the top of the texture and didn't actually get down into the brown hey, I'm just gonna keep painting and see what happens can I fix it with more paint? Who knows? I know, I probably am not going to be able to, but <laughs> just see. Ah, that's not a good start. But it does give me an idea of how it is going to look. And yeah. No. No, that's a great big no from me. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm actually gonna clean it off and I'm gonna try all over again <laughs> okay okay I'm terribly sorry Uma your hair looks terrible I'm gonna fix you up oh blurg that's just awful okay I will fix that let's go back to Evie's well Evie's stockings so we're gonna streak the black over it so it's gonna be a bluey black grunge look and then we're gonna work on her boots so blacky blue stockings it's looking pretty good that blue underneath has dried a little bit patchily so in her boots she actually has got a gold overlay on top of the blue so that's what I'm gonna try to achieve here it's really really vibrant <laughs> now there's a lot of gold <laughs> might be a little bit too much <laughs> but she can totally rock this look <laughs> so gold overlay on her boots we'll leave that to dry and we'll head back now to Evie's top and she needs her little heart side of her waistband so to do this I've actually got a really big 
heart sticker here. I'm going to use my tiny heart cutter to cut out a mini doll sized heart and then I'll just stick it on and see how that goes. I wish I had a little red gem, one of those little gem stickers, but I don't. So this is going to have to do until I can find one that's tiny enough to actually not look too silly on a mini doll. Let's see. This is so small. My fingers feel huge trying to do this. But I think we have success. I think we have stuck the little red heart on there. Oh, that's so cutie pie. Okay, we have all these body parts. I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking and then we are going to have a ceremonial assembly of the custom Descendants 2 mini dolls. So let's start with Mal. Oh, I feel like we need some special music for this. Some ceremonial music. Some like trumpets fanfaring or something. All right. Maybe that's a little too much. I painted her some gloves because she was missing them before. So I've just added gloves since you last saw her. But apart from that, she's exactly as we've already painted. So there we go. Mel as a mini doll. She looks adorable. I don't know that she'd quite like being called adorable, but she looks adorable. Okay, Mal, I think, has turned out very, very well. Let's do Evie next. Now, I could have done with a little bit more work on her boots. She needs a bit of red on there, so I might go back and add that later. And if I can find a red gem for her little waistband, I will do that. But the cape works really, really well as a detachable jackety kind of thing. And for the hair, shall I go with the metallic? Oh, no. Let's just do the normal blue for now. And I can always mix it up with the metallic later. And I've also made her a hair accessory because she always wears something red or gold, little red or gold trinket in her hair. This one here, a little heart shaped one, is actually the middle section of one of these bows that you get with just about all the Lego Friends dolls. I cut off the side bits and I kind of painted it red and, and gold. And if we put it in her hair, it might be a bit too much. I don't know, I might need a bit more gold around the sides, but we can always take it out if it's too much. I can always add more to it too. So Evie, she's got her hair accessory. She looks very cute. Now, Uma. Uma, I don't think, would ever want to look cute. Let's see how he went here. I love this top. It just worked so perfectly. I painted her some black gloves as well. And I've redone her hair, as you can see. It looks much better now, I think you'll agree. You can see the brown down in the crevices of the hair. It looks so much better. And she's going to need a pirate sword. There she blows. There you go. Oh my goodness, I am absolutely thrilled with how well Uma has turned out as a mini doll. Do you have a favorite out of the three? I think mine might be Uma. Should I tell the other two though? Honestly, I really couldn't choose. Oh, hold on, something's going on here. The girls are moving out of the way because Uma is transforming. Oh, come on, Uma. Actually, I might need to paint your tentacles so they match better. But don't worry, Mal has got some tricks up her sleeve. She can transform into a dragon. Hmm. Now, it's time to morph back into your normal shapes and play nicely. Now, I've still got to make Uma in her cotillion gown. I'm working on that. And if you want to see any of the other Descendants characters as mini dolls, make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know which ones. Make sure you subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. And I'll be back with a new one very soon. So thanks for watching, and I will see you then. Bye!